Hey bag maker, I'm Sarah Lawson from Sew Sweetness. Thanks so much for joining me for Social Sunday, my weekly sewing chat. Hey everyone, happy Sunday and welcome to Social Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me for the show, whether you're watching live or watching the recording later on in the week. As you can see by the empty chair, Danny will be joining me on set in just a minute and tonight we have another segment of bag lab so very excited for that i see debbie's watching from virginia d is watching from uh arkansas i'm trying to think of my uh <laughs> abbreviations uh debbie says happy easter and passover to all and uh flume is watching from new york so um just a few things that i'm going to chat about before danny jumps on the set um I was walking my dog Mikey just before the show and I saw a bird that I'd never seen in person, only in photographs. It's a little brown bird called a brown creeper and it, hence the name, it sort of creeps up the tree trunks. And a couple days ago, I saw an osprey fly over my house, which is a, a raptor bird. And we used to live in the city of Chicago. A couple years ago, we moved out to the suburbs and we live in a little neighborhood of 12 houses and there's a lot of trees in our neighborhood and some of my neighbors, their houses back up to a natural marsh. And so when the pelican, pelicans migrate through our area, a lot, like a ton of them stop over at the marsh. So as someone who loves animals, it's really exciting for me to see- I'm make a little space over here, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's really exciting for me to see all the different wildlife that I would never get a chance to see in Chicago. Also, I've linked to two recipes in the description. I know this is not a cooking show, but today I made clover leaf dinner rolls from Natasha's kitchen. I made these rolls before, Danny loved them. So I decided to make them again today. They turned out great, I love them so much. Um, and I also made for the first time pumpkin leek soup. Uh, I've also linked to that recipe in the description. I was a little hesitant about the recipe because there were lots of interesting, interesting ingredients um, such as pumpkin puree, apples, maple syrup, leeks, and I thought, I don't know how that recipe will turn out, but I was brave enough to try it and it's amazing. So in case you're interested in either of those, uh, links to those recipes are in the description. Hello, Danny. Hey, everyone. Um, is it okay if we jump right to Bag Lab? You don't say, huh? <laughs> we are interrupting the show for a special report. Because now it is time for Bag Lab. Yay. So um, if you're not familiar with Bag Lab, um, I collect some of your questions via email. Um, by the way, instructions on how to submit your own question is in the description in case you have a burning bag related question that you'd like me to answer. And because I get the questions beforehand, I'm able to prepare an answer in greater detail. So tonight's question comes from Shelby and Shelby says, Hi Sarah, I have been looking for a bag I can make for my granddaughter as a small going to grand's bag. So basically an overnight bag for um, a little one. Do you have a specific pattern you feel would work well for this? It can be a backpack or small duffel. I like the design of the tortoise bag. Which size do you think would work best for a three to five year old? Or would you recommend a different pattern? Thanks in advance for your advice and I have enjoyed watching Social Sundays and Bag Lab. By the way, bags for the littles might be a good Bag Lab suggestion. Becoming a gran is what has gotten me back into sewing and I am loving sewing all kinds of bags for toys using all different types of closures to help her little fingers learn new tricks. Thanks, Shelby. Well, Shelby, I pulled a few bag samples, some of them from the basement, and one of them is Violet's personal bag. Um, so I'll start with your, you mentioned the tortoise bag in your email, so I'll start with that one. I have, oh no. <laughs> Got hooked up on my notions and my notion cup. Um, so this is the tortoise bag. This is size medium and I thought, is everything okay? Yeah, did you know you had another tortoise bag right there? Yeah. That I, one's my favorite. I realized that after I pulled this one out of the basement. Um, um, but this is medium and I think this would be good. Size large is quite a bit taller and bigger. Um, I know medium is sort of on the smaller side as far as packing clothes, but I thought I was trying to picture a three to five year old for all of these bag samples that I brought um, on set and I 
I'm just trying to choose bags that aren't too large to o really overwhelm their little bodies when they're carrying them. So um, this is tortoise bag size medium, which I thought would be a good size if you decided to go with that particular bag. Um, I also pulled, this is my original <laughs> coalition bag. Um, the coalition bag comes in two different sizes. This is the handbag size and the duffel size is quite large. Um, I know you haven't seen that one in a while, but do you remember it? Yeah, it's the, the gray. gray foiled one I used to have on set. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I thought this size would be better for a three to five year old is again, trying to think about bags. That's too big in my personal opinion. For a three to five year old? Yep. Oh, okay. Three to five year old's a small person. I know, but I was thinking for an overnight bag, so they have to put clothes, maybe a little stuffed animal in there. Okay, that would, I can get, but it might be big for them to carry. Yeah, it might be. Um, let me show you one more bag before I show you Violet's little backpack. So um, this is the Tudor bag, and the reason that I pulled this one is because when the kids were little, I would say maybe kindergarten age around there I made them each a tutor bag and they use them all the time they would use the the side crossbody strap and they would put when we would go to my grandma's house they would put uh, toys um, nerf guns games books that was a great bag for that whatever they would put in there so again I know it's on the larger size but from personal experience my kids did use this particular pattern uh, for carrying their stuff and this is a beginner friendly pattern so um, good choice if you maybe haven't sewn a bag or haven't sewn too many bags and the fur the fourth bag that I pulled is a well used a well used Cumberland backpack this is Violet's personal backpack um, in Minnie and Mickey fabric and William had one same size in Donkey Kong fabric so the Cumberland backpack comes in size small and size large this is size small um, really great for a three to five year old. Not as roomy as some of those other bags that I showed, but we took these to Disney. I mean, when we would ride bikes, they would put put things inside. I personally use this size for sort of like a summer purse style bag. So um, hopefully out of those four bags, um, one of those will sort of ring a bell again. I was trying to choose bags for three to five year olds, so little small people. And- Did you have a small park sling by chance? Um, I do, but- uh, That seemed like it'd be even I don't smaller. know, I kind of liked the Cumberland backpack better. Oh, you have one picture that I sent you earlier that I wanted to put up on the screen. Um, I don't have a physical sample to show you just yet because I'm still working on them, but Danny's gonna put a picture on the screen. Um, these were made by Sheriff Fit Buddy, and this is one of my new patterns coming out on May 8th, this is the Marlin backpack. And can you leave the picture up on the screen for just another second you more? keep talking about it. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing I love about this backpack is, uh, I know it's not showing up in the photos, but the front of the backpack is, if you've made either the Connemara pouch or the Zeppelin pouch, the front of the backpack is actually, not counting the zippered pocket, sort of three-dimensional origami. Like it's one piece with wings and I sort of, sew it together like I said in the similar style as the Zeppelin pouch so um, the Marlin backpack comes in two different sizes and while I'm talking about the the Marlin backpack um, the new four, four pack bundle four pack video bundle comes out on we decided to release it on May 8th um, so I'll be showing sneak previews the next two Sundays so you'll want to stay tuned for the next two social Sundays and then it will come out on May 8th so I'll share two sneak peeks next Sunday and then two more the following Sunday. Um, I think I kind of talked about the style of the bags previously. By the way, I should mention, um, even though the four pack video bundle will be available for $40 for the four patterns, um, I, the patterns will be available individually at the same time. So if you're only interested in just say one of the patterns, you can buy uh, it separately. Um, we're wrapping up the videos right now and it'll be a crossbody bag, sort of a, I don't want to say small because it's not, it's not technically small. I guess a medium size, medium to small size crossbody, a large shoulder bag, that backpack that I just shared, the Marlin backpack and a wallet. So I'm out of all of those, I'm proud of all of those, but I'm particularly proud of the wallet because, um, 
I don't design a lot of small projects and this particular wallet has a lot of details in it, in my opinion. And so, um, I don't know, I just, when I was even halfway writing the pattern, I felt a little bit unsure about it. And, um, but now everything's come together and I'm really proud and excited about the wallet pattern. So I'm excited to share the sneak peeks um, in the upcoming two Sunday shows. Um, which is your favorite out of the four projects? Hmm. I only remember three out of the four because <laughs> uh, a couple have been for a while. Um, and I did see all your guys' questions. Oh, you know what? Um, it's got to be the backpack. The backpack is your favorite? Yep. Yeah, the backpack. So you want to put the picture up one more time? Is that what you were going to do when you No, were... I'd stop the recording for the bag lab because I'm like, this is still part of it, but it seemed like it'd be a long bag lab. Oh, okay. That's so I might fine. do some editing later. It could, it could stay in there. Multiple people were asking, like, why am I looking down? I look a little sad. There, there's actually a computer right here, and that's where I see your guys' questions. So I'm looking, when you see me like this, that's because I'm watching your mm -hmm. questions and stuff. He's collecting questions. He puts them in a queue, and um, I answer them. Yeah, here's another picture of the backpack. The, the lighter colored one is size small, and then the large one in the foreground is uh, size large. Um, the side pockets are optional, so if you don't like side pockets or don't have a need for them, you can just leave them off, and it's really simple to do that. And, um, yeah. I yeah. like backpacks. They're my favorite. As you'll see, we should segue right into my pick of the week. Okay. And my pick of the week is from Camille. She did the park sling um, with a custom Lilo and Stitch fabric that glows in the dark. How cool is that? Oh my God, that's awesome. I, I loved it. I saw this and I'm like, oh, it just... She added a modification to the strap for a cell phone, like a little pocket for a cell phone. Love it. Inside, look at the zipper pulls even. And wait, that we're not done yet. There's also a chickadee she made. It's also in the glow and dark fabric. And she did... Um, Applique. Applique on the outside of Stitch, and that just looks so awesome. When I saw this, I'm like, this looks so... Is that a custom zipper in the back too? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, yeah. yeah there's the glow in the dark. And picture. there's the glow in the dark. She did such a wonderful job. Fluff Butt Boutique is her shop, I believe. That's just me guessing, but I can see it in the picture. <laughs> yeah. But definitely check a look at her shop. She does amazing work. Uh, she posts those this past week since last Bag Lab. So uh, excellent job, Camille. Really yeah, beautiful awesome work. Awesome job. And um, yeah, great picks this week. Continuing on the backpack trend. Um, well, your second favorite part of the show, because when you're on it, your pick of the week is your favorite. Uh, we'd like to invite all the bag makers to stand proud. Let us know in the comments that you're part of the So Sweetness squad. And we really, really appreciate you tune, tuning into the show, um, being part of our bag making community. So thank you so very much. Thank you, Danny. All right, so on that note, I'm going to be answering some questions live. So if you have a question for me, a bag making question, general sewing question, question about a notion or tool, go ahead and type that in the comments right now. Uh, Danny's collecting questions over on the laptop over here. Before we get over to the questions, I wanted to announce the winner of last week's giveaway and that winner is Jackie Pearson. So congratulations, congratulations to Jackie. Please email me after the show. My email is sarah at sosweetness.com. Danny's gonna um, pop that email address up on the screen real quick. I hope it's, it might be print to actual size because I didn't switch it. Oh, okay. We'll see. Oh, oh it no. Is. <laughs> we use that little graphic when we film our videos. If you've watched any of our step videos, you've probably seen it. Anyway, my, my email is sarah at sosweetness.com. That's Sarah with a no H. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I saw a lot of people like the Bag Lab intro. That is my voice. It took me uh, a half a day to make it, and I was very proud of it. <laughs> Thank you for everyone for the nice comments. I saw it pop through. It's so funny for... editing stuff down. Um, for example, we might film eight to ten hours for like a, a one and a half hour video. Um, so I think I saw a comment once. Um, they didn't think a bag could be sewn in. For example, if the video was one and a half hours, and I don't, I don't think I could sew any project in one and a half hours. But because you have to cut it out, there's preparation. I do so. I do so everything on camera, but obviously in between takes, I'm looking over my instructions, or obviously my you know my fabrics all cut out and interface before we film the video. Um, oftentimes, I sew replicated steps ahead of time. So, for example, if there's a zipper pocket in one lining piece and there's also a second zipper pocket in the lining piece, I'll sew the second one ahead of time so we can just in the video just sew the first one on camera and then I can show that 
all right, you're gonna sew a second one in the, you know, in the second lining main panel, something like that. So um, yeah, definitely my videos, just because they're an hour and a half to two hours long, whatever the length is, um, that's not necessarily my recommended sewing time. That's just uh, the length of time that I need to um, show all of the steps in the video. Um, Elaine says, was the soup savory or sweet? That's a great question. So that pumpkin leek soup that I linked to, it was actually a savory soup. Um, and I substituted a couple of the herbs. So the recipe called for fresh thyme and fresh sage. I used dried thyme. So I looked up online um, how much conversion you needed from fresh to dry. And then I didn't have sage, so I also Googled what was uh, substitutes for sage. So I substituted the dried thyme since I had that, and um, it tasted excellent. Uh, I'm sure it would taste just as good with the, the fresh herbs as well, but, um, you know, sometimes you need to make uh, substitutes based on what you have on hand. Um, Jackie says, not sure what I won, but I'm so excited to just have my name called, I think... Let's see, look at... Is that the correct name? The prize from last week was the $50 gift certificate uh, to my website. Yeah, Jackie Person was That's the winner. Sarah at SoSweetness.com mm -hmm. with no H. <laughs> so I don't have the graphic. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure you'll have it for next week. Um, Wendy says, hey, Sarah, have you heard about citizen science projects? You can collect data from museums and national science projects. Bird watching, observing is one of them, so they can monitor bird migration. I haven't heard of that, so I'm going to write that down. I have heard of eBird, which people um, submit their um, sightings. For example, like the first hummingbird sighting of the year, you can let the eBird website know when that is. And so they collect that kind of data just to post it on their website. Uh, we haven't had any hummingbirds yet, but I put out my hummingbird feeder last week and I've been keeping it clean. So um, when the first hummingbirds come, they'll have something out there. <laughs> I know they eat other things too, like bugs, um, but there's not a lot of flowers in bloom yet. So, um, Sunny says, what's the name of that crossbody backpack? Um, the one that was shown in Danny's pick um, that was made in the stitch fabric, that was the Park Sling backpack. It comes in two different sizes. I'm not sure which size was made in that photo, maybe the smaller one. Um, Bronwyn says, FYI, for those getting excited about the new patterns, I use the new small backpack, the Marlin. Every day is my handbag, can't love it enough. Oh, thanks, Bronwyn. And by the way, Bronwyn will be posting um, sneak peeks on social media um, in about a week's time. So um, there will be daily postings of photos on our social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and um, Pinterest as well. Um, Cindy says, I have been trying to find out if your website has gift certificates. Uh, we do. Um, there's a little graphic um, in the middle of our site for the gift certificates, or you can just type um, in Google or whatever your search engine, so sweetness gift certificates and that um, product listing will pop up. Um, but feel free to email us if you're not able to locate it right away. Um, the gift certificates come in lots of different amounts, so you can choose. Um, I think the lowest amount is nine dollars, since our um, sewing patterns are around nine dollars, and they go up from there. The gift certificates, I mean. Let's see. Um, Joan says, what exactly is So Sweetness Squad? Sounds like a secret society. It's just sort of our... It's like our saying, like a like a group you're, you belong in. You know, there's like different people, like, I hate to say his name, but it's like Justin Bieber and the Beliebers. You know, it's like their fan base. I guess you'd like name for the fan base would be the best way to describe it, I would guess. There's a lot of different ones. Um, Can you think of any other ones off the top of your head? Uh, Austin Mahomes, the Mahomies. Okay. Uh, that's just off the top of my head. Interesting. Um, Hope says, how much fabric for the new backpack? Um, I don't know. Sorry, I, I did have my sewing instructions up here, but I took them in the kitchen. So off the top of my head, I think the small size of the backpack is one yard for exterior and lining. And the large size, I think, was one and a quarter yard for exterior and lining. Don't quote me on that, but I'm like 90% sure that that was what it was. Um, Dawn says, Sarah, have you seen the new, new tulip pink fabrics yet? Yes, actually, um, Moon Garden is her fabric line that's coming out in October. And um, she just announced it on social media a few days ago and um, shops are ordering right now. So I was wondering, let me know in the comments if you think I should order 
a couple years ago we did backpacks, which was a two yard bundle of fabric. So one yard that a fabric that I chose for an exterior for a bag, one yard for a lining, put together in a single pack. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like that for Moon Garden. Um, I was sort of thinking about it. I've not seen it yet, but Sarah spoke highly of it. Oh, I love it. It's got snakes, owls, birds, dragonflies. I'm trying to think what other animals. I'm sure I missed one, but yeah, I. I did you tell them that you were gonna get it? No, I just wanted. To, I asked them. If, oh, did I just let the cat out the bag? No, no, no. I was. It was a good idea to ask anyway. So uh, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. I did that on purpose. You couldn't tell. <laughs> Janet says, how is the new storage space working out? Um, oh, our commercial space is uh, amazing. We um, love it. This year we started shipping our products from it. And it's kind of close by our house, so it's pretty nice. And um, I think the addition of the commercial space will be really great for us to be able to add new products throughout the year and next year. So we have a lot of new things in the works, which I'm really excited about. Connie says, how would you add a zipper top to the Faithwell storage bin? Um, Isn't that the other product we have, like the yarn binder? Um, would be that? Yes. Oh, so the, the Faithwell storage bin, it should be relatively easy because you have, there's the bottom panel. I think I think I did call it the bottom panel in the pattern pieces. I'm trying to remember. Um, so the bottom panel, which is round, you would just cut that out for the top of the bag. And um, if you need a little help with the zipper installation, the Kismet trinket boxes, there's a round version, a square version. You can use um, the sewing instruction from the round version, although you could probably do it without that. Um, you would just need to figure out what size you would need to cut the little tabby fabric attached to either end of the zipper, um, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it should be relatively easy uh, to implement that. So like everyone wants the to the pink oh that's awesome that's great a uh, bag kit with closure and zipper would be even better mm -hmm. marley says that'd be a great idea uh, maybe i can link to a suggested zipper color in the product listing perhaps um tracy says do you think you will ever design more fabric now that you have a big place for inventory um not enough hours in the day i'll answer yeah. for you <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, years ago, I don't even know how many years now, I designed two lines of fabric for Art Gallery Fabrics. The first line was called Jungle Avenue. The second line was called Fantasia. And uh, it was an amazing experience, especially learning how to design the images in the software, um, Adobe Illustrator. And... Um, I realized that fabric design and pattern design are both full-time jobs and I just wanted to, I chose the one that I felt like I was more special at, if that makes sense. So um, probably won't design any more fabric, but you're right, we do have more storage space uh, for bringing on new products like fabric, certainly. Michelle says, did you do a video on organizing your handbag hardware and notions for your sewing room? Um, I think I, Probably a few years ago now, though, I think I did talk about a hardware organizer. Um, it was um, actually uh, from the hardware store, an actual hardware organizer, but not hardware in those terms, more like screws and things like that. But um, I'll, I'll try to see if I can find it. Like I said, I think it was a few years ago, but if you go to our YouTube channel in our So Sweetness search box, if you type in hardware storage, I think that video might come up. Um, Bronwyn says, Marlin backpack, um, one yard or meter of exterior fabric for size small or one and a quarter yard meter of exterior fabric for size large, same for the lining. Thank you, Bronwyn, and sounds like I was right. Becky says, when does the next bundle of patterns come out? Thanks, and you two are amazing. Thank you very much, Becky. Thank you. Um, the next four patterns come out on May 8th. Just keep talking. Kim says, can you show the new backpack? I must have missed it. That's what it looks like comes in two different sizes, size small and size large. Um, Debbie says, oh, sorry, I thought you were putting something up on the screen. Mm -mm. Okay. Once it goes away, I will. Okay. Um, Debbie says, when using binding for a bag, what size for the binding do you use? Actually, let's see if it was last Sunday. I think I 
I posted it on social media maybe last week. So if you go to our YouTube channel, it should be one of the recent videos, um, how to attach binding to a bag. And you can also find that on my website under the tutorials tab uh, at the top of my page. Linda says, how much a yard for the new Tula Pink? It's very expensive here in Australia. Uh, it's been a couple years since I ordered it, so I don't want to quote a price in case the prices have been raised since I last ordered. But um, yeah, I, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> That's all I got for that question. Laura says, Sarah, your Jungle Avenue fabric is one of my absolute favorite fabric lines, especially the subway print. Thank you, Laura. That subway print, um, I loved it. It was an actual subway map for the Chicago L trains, which I thought was really cool. Very cool. Kelly says, backpacks are always great, but especially now as the news has reported, they are in high demand. Oh, they are? That's really interesting. Did you read that. something about no. that? Um, Tamara says, May 8th is Mother's Day. Great release date for gifts for us moms. Oh, that. thank you, Tamara. I guess I lost track of when Mother's Day was coming up, but... Um, we do have those gift certificates that that question was about earlier. So if you're anticipating wanting the four pack video bundle, that's a great uh, gift to ask for a gift certificate. So if you if someone is purchasing, um, say, the four pack video bundle for you or minikins, um, they'll want to get you a gift certificate rather than buying it for you using their own email address. Because if you make the purchase using a gift certificate, then every all the patterns of videos will be in your own account rather than um, your gifties account on my website, if that makes sense. There's no other comments. If you, uh, just, you know, there you go. Uh, Melissa wanted to know, is there a frame in the new backpack or just a zipper? That's a great question. Uh, there are how many zippers, three zippers. So one zippers in the lining for a zipper pocket and then two zippers on the outside. So there's the one zipper on the front. You wanna put the picture back up on the screen for just a second? Sorry. So the one, the curved zipper on the front of the backpack, there's the one zipper on the top, which is the main compartment of the backpack. And then there's a third zipper um, in the lining, which is just a zipper pocket. Thank you, Danny. Marie says, is there a specific foot you keep on your Juki machine when sewing bags? I use the standard foot that came on the machine when I bought it. I don't know, actually, I don't even know what the name of that foot is, but I also swap out different feet depending on what I'm doing, such as the, I purchased separately the Juki hinged zipper foot. That's, I use that instead of the zipper foot that came with the machine. And I also often will use the Teflon foot if I'm sewing with um, cork vinyl or leather. You know, Sarah, tell them about mm -hmm. the funny that happened when you were sewing yesterday on the sewing machine. Oh yeah. We probably should have got a video of that. That was, we were pressed for time because Danny had an appointment in the evening. No, so... no, I didn't. It's Friday and Saturday night are for the boys. You ever hear that expression? That's when I play my video games with my friends. Then Sarah wants to always work when I have my time. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Fine. I'll work just because you know, I appreciate you. So I said, okay, from <laughs> seven to nine, I'll go ahead and we could work. And uh, and we're working and Sarah had this problem. And I'm like, what the heck? You don't want to say what the problem is? I don't is? know how to explain it. So my bobbin is, my sewing machine is a side loading bobbin. So not on the top of the machine, it's on the side. So there's a little door that opens up and the bobbin slips in where it goes. And there's a little bit of space on either side. Like you wouldn't think anything would be able to go there but I was putting the bobbin casing in and I sort of like, it flew out of my hand and went like into the inner part of the sewing machine and uh, I could touch it with my finger, yeah. but like I trapped. I couldn't like grab it with both fingers because there wasn't enough space. You know, a good to way to it describe it. You ever see those kid games where you could put like a square or a circle in an opening and then once oh, it's operation? in- operation? No, no, yeah. it's, it's a big like a grid oh, and it's, okay. you got little shapes like an X, a circle, a square, and only a circle fits in the circle, a square fits in a square. So somehow she put it in one of these other shapes and you couldn't pull it out in this direction it's facing. So I had to turn her machine upside down so it let it hang down, then twist <laughs> it around with some pliers and slowly extract it. And it was crazy. Uh, I was starting to sweat because first of all, you know, we had to- She took the throat off, I mean the plate throat. And it didn't give me more access, access no. no. And I was like, what are we gonna do if we can't get this out? Like, I mean, I guess in hindsight, I do have another Juki I could swap in, but. I was starting to sweat there. 
Um, Mary Lee says, will the new Marlin backpack have a drop-in lining? Actually, the Marlin backpack is sewn right sides together, so no drop-in lining, no binding. Let me think about the other projects. Same thing for all four projects. Everything's sewn right sides together, the new projects. Um, no binding and no drop-in lining. Angela says, just learn the foot that comes with Juki is actually a scant quarter of an inch. The real quarter of an inch has a small guide on the right from Juki Junkies. Thanks, Angela. Yeah, thanks for the reminder that foot is actually a scant quarter of an inch. So I usually use the marking on the bed of my sewing machine for the quarter of an inch, but I do really like that foot. Um, however, if you are not a fan of that particular foot, um, as Angela mentioned, um, you can get that other uh, foot from Juki Junkies. Jackie says, what other patterns are coming out in May? It's a four pack. Um, I'll mention it again. It's going to be a crossbody bag, sort of a smaller, medium-ish sized crossbody bag, a large shoulder bag, the Marlin backpack, which we showed the pictures of. I'll show the physical bag for the Marlin backpack um, next Sunday. And then a wallet. Um, Threads by Elle says, prior to purchase, is there a way one would know what size zippers to use, one double zipper or zipper by the yard? Um, I don't know if you mean for the new backpack pattern. Um, let's see. For any at all of them, I would answer. I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so the, for the Marlin backpack, if you're making size small, you'll need two 24-inch handbag zippers, so it can either be a single pull or a double pull. If you're making size large, you'll need two 30-inch zippers or handbag zippers or zipper by the yard. And you'll also need a 12-inch zipper for the zipper pocket and the lining. And that could be either a number three or a handbag zipper. Um, the large shoulder bag needs no zippers. Um, I don't, sorry, I don't remember the requirements of the other projects, but the, the wallet has sort of a an accordion zipper pocket on the, the lining. So that's just like a small zipper. Um, Kath says, is there a frame in the Marlin? No frame, just the, the zippers. Debbie says, where do you buy needles for your Juki? I buy them in a bulk pack of 100. I use either Organ brand needles or Schmetz brand needles. I usually buy them, hmm, I think on either Amazon or eBay, I've purchased them in the past. Jackie says, how easy is it to put the wallet together? I have not made a wallet before. It is, I would say intermediate level. I would say if you've made the day trip cell phone wallet, I believe it's easier than that one, um, if that helps at all. <laughs> Stephanie says, can't wait to see your new patterns. I love your design, Sarah. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I really, really appreciate it. Teresa says, are you coming out with any videos for any older patterns? That's a great question. I don't think at least for this year, I don't have on my schedule videos for any older patterns. I suppose it's always a possibility. I guess I just get so um, rare raring to go about the new patterns. And of course we have videos with the new patterns. Um, Alex says, how's Mikey? If I remember his name correctly, yes. Um, Mikey, actually we were considering, we need to send papers in for the AKC to register him. And I was talking to Violet and I was suggesting the name Mike Wazowski, which is the, if you've Monsters seen Inc. Monsters, Inc., he's the little um, green guy with the single eyeball. I thought that would be really cute, but I, I don't know if we got a consensus with all four of us. But yeah, his nickname is Mikey. <laughs> Elizabeth says, is the wallet for a guy or a gal? Uh, it could be for anyone. I mean, if you're in, it's a larger wallet. It's a longer wallet. Yeah. So I would say, I don't know if a lot of guys would want a longer wallet. but Some guys do use longer wallets. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, if you like a longer wallet, not just a... Like a checkbook size wallet. Yeah, yeah, checkbook size. That's a good one. Thank you. Also, I think some cell phones will fit in that particular, the new wallet as well. I haven't checked to see. I think mine does fit in there. Um, Ella says, I got the thick fabric plate for my QVP. That's a Juki. But when I was working on small pieces for a quilt, they seem to be getting sucked in. Do you piece with a thick plate? I actually do piece quilts with the thick plate. Um, when I make quilts, I use quilting cotton. I'm not sure if you're using that. I can see the different substrates. It might pull the fabric into the hole, the thick fabric plate hole, but um, for that plate, at least on my machine, I haven't had an issue. Um, Wendy says, have you ever heard of an eighth of an inch foot? Um, the hinge zipper foot is thin. Uh, let's see how thin it is. I've got mine in here. It's a quarter of an inch. I did see online a listing for an eighth of an inch hinge zipper foot, but 
I didn't know if it was necessary because my foot is, I thought this foot was thin enough already, at least for my uses. Um, can your cork be used for the new wallet? Uh, your cork is just grand. Thank you so much. Um, I did see a few of the testers make the wallet in various vinyls. I don't think I saw someone make it in the cork yet, but if I'm assuming if the wallet can be made in vinyl, it could also be made in cork um, quite easily. That's all the questions. We can end a little early today. Um, thank you so much for your supportive comments. I was looking at the laptop for a second. Um, I really appreciate your supportive comments about the new backpack and um, again, Next Sunday, I'll be sharing more detailed sneak peeks about two of the new patterns. One of them will be the backpack. And then the following Sunday, I'll show two more sneak peeks. And then May 8th, we'll have our release. So very excited about that. Um, I think that's all I was going to say. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I know you've been waiting for... Yeah, since November. A while, yeah. I see everyone's comments. Is there any sneak peeks? Any new patterns coming out? And any new patterns coming out? We, we're not addressing those questions initially because... It puts added pressure on Sarah for we don't want to set a date or a time and we're and not saying you can't we're not saying you can't yeah. say and those things. You have those questions. You can always email Sarah and you know I'll probably answer you and say hey we're gonna work it as fast as we can and we will get them out as soon as possible. But if we've set a hard date, it's hard to adhere to it in the past. We've had that issue and you know stuff comes up and we're working our best and our hardest and. I think, I think we these are great. I think maybe a year or so ago we learned uh, we're not going to say anything about release dates until we've got almost all the videos filmed because that's usually our like final roadblock, like getting time to film all the videos. And so we're about to start the fourth video. So that's why we felt comfortable. And um, I'm not ignoring your questions, just so you guys. I wanted to say that so you guys know what's going on. But thank oh, you everyone okay, for watching. Oh, okay. I see why yeah. you said that. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, like I said, it's perfectly fine to say that in the comments. Uh, we just. Uh, Learned from in the past when I open my mouth too soon. Um, sometimes <laughs> I think things you, you happen started that with this one when you showed a sneak peek. Yeah, initially. I sort of I sort of did. <laughs> I showed the backpack like in like a corner of the backpack in I think maybe January or February, and then and of course then we got Mikey and everything. Sort of. And we got the new shop. And yeah, we got the new shop. Yeah, everything happens. You know different paces, different times. But thank you for showing up, everyone. I know it's a holiday and we appreciate you showing mm -hmm. up, writing uh, comments and mm -hmm. liking and sharing. All those things help and we appreciate that and subscribing. Thank you so much for everyone, honestly. Mm -hmm. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. So thank yeah, you for, for that. Sure. And I think that's it. All right, so uh, one last thing is the giveaway. So I decided, oh, I didn't let you know before the show. I hope this is okay. Um, since we have the new four pack coming out, um, I wanted to give away for tonight's giveaway two free four pack video bundles um, of the upcoming bundle. So I wanted to do one live giveaway and one you have until the end of the, the Saturday to enter. Is sure. that okay? Yeah. Okay, so our giveaways, uh, we compile all the comments from Facebook and YouTube. So we're gonna do one live meeting everyone who's commented on the live show so far. And then for the second winner, you have until the end of the day this Saturday to leave a comment on the show, again, wherever you watch and um, I'll randomly draw the winner and let you know the winner's name next Sunday on the show. I have an extra question for you to answer in the comments for an extra method of entry. Um, what is a unique skill that you have? So maybe something very particular, could be something unusual. Let me know what's a unique skill that you have. Um, I guess sewing would be mine. I, I know that's not super unique. Uh, Maybe pattern writing would be my skill. What about you? I think, I think I'm a, a really good problem solver, to be honest. Yeah, you are. Any problem, a problem with the car, a problem with the computer. Even the shop, like designing stuff. Like I am not, I have no engineering background, but you should see some stuff that I put together to make it work for our tools or cutting zippers yeah, or, you know, different things. Um, all right, so we'll do the live winner now. Um, give everyone a chance to comment. Um, what numbers am I picking from? Uh, one through forty-five. All right, I'm gonna pick twenty-seven. All right, let me. Get and the one through twenty. I'm gonna pick number two. Kathy. All right, our congratulations. Live winner is Kathy. Um, please email me after the show. Um, again, my email is Sarah at SoSweetness.com. With no H. You won't get the four pack right now. You'll get it. Uh, a free one when it's released. And so I'll just hang on to your email address um, until that comes out. And again, 
Remember, if you're watching the recording of the show, you still have um, um, opportunity to an win. opportunity to win. Thank you very much, Danny. Um, anyway, so so excited that we're in the home stretch. Yay! Yay! Um, I hope you have a great week. Make sure to stay tuned for the show next Sunday for the sneak peeks of some of the new patterns. Exciting um, stuff. I hope you have a great week and happy sewing. Bye, everybody. Bye,